this is an easy one just like the rest of the videos in part two of this course i'm going to keep it short and sweet the difference between echo and feedback is essentially where they output the text that you pass into them so while well, gma.feedback outputs to the command line, gma.echo outputs to the system monitor. Easy enough, right? So most of the time, to be really honest with you, I forgot which function outputs to which window. So to get around that and not have to think about it, what I will often do is simply create a function that outputs to both the system monitor and the command line feedback. And you can see that here as a print function. And this is um, a trick that I really use quite heavily. And um, all I'm going to do now is actually copy and paste this over to the console. Again, control A, control C to copy, and select and paste it. Um, echo feedback. Control A to select everything. Control B to insert it. Hit save. And now we can see three different things here. Um, first of all, we can see that we're first outing putting gma.feedback is only visible in the command line feedback this is only visible on the system monitor gma.echo and then this is visible in both because as we covered in the video about functions we defined this function that actually takes this parameter message and runs it through gma.feedback and echo and we can see it here it all looks good only command line feedback command line feedback only it's visible on the system monitor, system monitor visible on both, right? So I use this print function trick quite a bit because most of the time you just want information and to, to get out to the user. Um, there are some cases maybe where you can think about sort of um, outputting the information to the command line feedback, but not the system monitor or vice versa. In general, the command line feedback is very user uh, facing, I would say. So any MA2 commands always go into the command line feedback. So it's very common to have that open. Um, so that's really sort of a good place to only output information that is relevant to your plugin user or yourself when you use the plugin. While the system monitor is something that you really, you have to know that that exists to pull it up and you have to know what to use it for. So you could, for example, um, sort of put more of a background information into the system monitor if you want, for example, to find an error in your plugin. Um, so that's sort of the only way or the only time where I would suggest that you put different information on the different screens, but in general, make your life a little easier. Just use a print function to output to both and then you don't have to think about it.